Hello, 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 and welcome to another live podcast recording. I am recording this podcast live on Instagram, and this is something that I'm going to be talking about inside of this episode, but today I am really excited to share with you why you are feeling burnt out when it comes to content creation. I know we've all been there where we start off strong, we are super excited, we start showing up consistent, consistently, we are spending a lot of time on our phone, we're spending a lot of time on social media, and then all of a sudden we feel burnt out and we stop creating content, we stop getting these content downloads, we stop showing up on social media, and then it just creates this cycle of um, showing up for a couple weeks and then not showing up at all for a couple weeks. And then we have to rebuild the momentum. And the last thing that I want you to do is to have to rebuild momentum because I know once you step into having momentum with your content, it allows you to have harmony within your life and business. It allows you to be able to show up, create your content, get offline and have the content work for you. That's why we want to build businesses on social media, not to feel burnt out, not to be online 24 seven, but to be able to have our content work for us rather than having to hustle our face off 24 seven. So I'm going to give you four reasons today why you are feeling burnt out from creating content and how you can actually flip these things and really step into more flow and ease when it comes to content creation. The first reason why you are burnt out from creating content is kind of what I explained in the intro. It is basically because you are committing to a content posting schedule that's kind of like a fad diet, right? You are committing to something where you have to willpower your way through. You have to sacrifice a lot of time. You have to sacrifice a lot of your life and you have to, maybe you're like, I have to post five times a day or you have to post three times a day. And let me preface this by saying, I think a good challenge is always good, but there is a time and a place for it. So if you're forcing yourself to show up in a way that doesn't support your lifestyle or your schedule or the things that you have going on, it's not going to allow you to be more consistent than, more consistent than not. Consistency is the ultimate strategy when it comes to social media and long-term consistency. So your baseline strategy, the strategy that you can always fall back on needs to be a strategy where you are showing up consistently. And that gets to look different for everybody. Maybe for you that's showing up one time a day, maybe for you that's showing up two or three times a day, depending on what your schedule looks like. Or maybe for you showing up three to four times a week is what consistency looks like. Consistency, again, looks different for everybody. And when you can take a bigger bird's eye view of how you are being consistent, you are able to say, okay, may, I don't need to put all this pressure on me to show up multiple times a day. Maybe I am really great at showing up every single, every other day of the week. Now, I personally believe that if you are growing a brand on social media, you should find a way to show up at least one time a day. However, if you are just getting started, the question that I want you to answer is how can you show up more often than not? That is more important than showing up multiple times a day. The second reason that you are burnt out from creating content is that you're trying to show up and duplicate somebody else's strategy. We all see this happen online. Somebody goes viral or all of a sudden they get a lot of attention. That's the main focus on social media is to gain attention, right? But they gain a lot of attention about a strategy that they are using. And then they turn around and they say, this is the only strategy that works. This is the end all be all strategy. You need to show up and create your short form videos in this way. Storytelling content is the only way. Educational content is the only way. Lifestyle content is the only way. And the problem with this is, is first and foremost, every single successful strategy is, every single successful strategy is individualized. There is no strategy out there that can be duplicated for multiple people. So you have to take the strategies that people are teaching with a grain of salt and you have to allow yourself to um, make it your own. Because here is the thing, is when we start to believe that these strategies are the only, only way to show up on social media, oftentimes what will happen is our greatest 
content will not get put out onto the internet because you think like, oh my gosh, I have to tell a story in every single piece of a content, but you have this really great polarizing piece of content that you want to share, but it doesn't really have a story tied to it. So then you think, oh my gosh, I'm not going to share this because it doesn't have a story tied to it. Instead, I want you to drop that and I want you to trust your intuition and trust yourself in creating the content because honestly, the more content you create, the more content you create. I don't care how you started. I don't care what hooks you use. Get the content out there and find a strategy that works for you. I personally use different types of content. I use storytelling content. I use, um, I use a lot of hypnotic language in my content. I use educational content. I use lifestyle content. I use a mixture of it all and I find the strategy that works best for me and then I roll with it until it doesn't work and then I try new things. But I do not take what people say as end all be all strategies because I know that that is not true. The third reason why that you are burnt out from creating content is you're trying to show up as somebody that you're not. This is the number one indication of feeling burnt out from creating content is you are probably putting on a mask and you're trying, you're probably trying to show up as somebody that people are going to like, and you're really wanting to be either perfect or, um, you're changing yourself when you get online. And sometimes this happens unconsciously. Actually, most of the time this happens unconsciously. So it's not your fault. I want to say that first and foremost. Um, but it is really important that you do pay attention to your energy levels at the end of the day. Did you feel lit up and do you feel fulfilled from creating the content that you've created or do you feel burnt out and tired and like you just want to go to bed at the end of the day? Now I realize that could be a lot of different things going on in your life. However, if it's really coming from your content creation, you're probably masking and you're probably showing up as somebody that you're not. So remove that mask, show up as yourself, and just know the ultimate goal with social media is to gain attention. And with gaining attention comes repelling people from you and attracting people to you. If you are not repelling people from you, you are not attracting people to you. So it's really, really important for you to be okay with repelling people from you because you're going to want to attract people to you. And the way that you do that is you show up authentically as yourself and not try to mold yourself into somebody that you are not. And the last reason, the fourth reason why you are burnt out from creating content is because you are trying to recreate the wheel when it comes to creating content. So you are creating more work that is necessary to creating content. I, so I am a person that preaches casting a wide net, picking multiple social media platforms and repurposing your content on multiple social media platforms. However, oftentimes people take that advice and they think that they need to create new content on each platform. Today is a really great example of how I do not recreate the wheel or I do not recreate new content for every single platform. I am currently recording a live podcast on Instagram. I am creating, I am recording a YouTube video that I'm going to be repurposing into a podcast, which I will then take clips of and repurpose that into TikToks and reels or short form video. I can also take this transcript, I can have it transcribed and I can pull out nuggets of this and create micro pieces of content from this one piece of content. So right now we're about nine minutes into me recording this video, podcast, live video, and I'm going to be able to create multiple pieces of content from this. You want to work smarter and not harder. If you only have a short amount of time to create content for your week, this is what I suggest doing. I suggest creating a longer piece of content in audio or video form that you can repurpose on multiple platforms that you can chop down into short form videos that you could also take and micro down the content, maybe in a carousel post for Instagram or a long form content post on Facebook or Instagram. You, the opportunities are endless when it comes to creating content. Just try not to overcomplicate it and try not to reinvent the wheel. That is what I have for you guys today. I hope that you guys enjoyed this podcast. If you do, please take a screenshot of this, share it on your Instagram, tag me, and I will talk to you in the next episode. I hope you have a great day. Bye.